Hey guys, it's Shelly here with lovecreatelaugh.blogspot.com. Tonight I'm doing the finished product from my Happy Times layout that I did the um, um, product poll video for yesterday. Um, this is my finished layout. I did a 12 by 12 single page layout, which is, again, uncommon for me. I never, I rarely do single page layouts. Usually I always do double page layouts, so this is kind of a new process for me. Um, I did one the other day for the um, Colored Sprinkle Girls Patties Challenge, which I really loved, and I thought it was a great challenge, and I had a lot of fun with it. So I decided to do a few more, because I do have a, a 12 by 12 album that's just kind of, you know, it's not any one of my kids' specific um, books or anything. It's basically just kind of like any part of our family at any point in time. You know, it doesn't have to be chronological and blah, blah, blah. Well, so anyway, this layout here is a photo of my parents. Um, both of my parents passed away in 2003, so that was actually what originally um, inspired me to begin scrapbooking. So when I started scrapbooking, I did in, I started in 2004, and basically my first album was a heritage-type album about my parents, and it was very primitive as far as scrapbooking, you know, um, methods go at this point, but... Um, I still love it to this day because it was my first album and it was all about my parents and I mean it, I don't think it gets any better than that when you're you know going through the grieving process it's it's very cathartic to scrapbook memories um so at least it was for me um so I kind of had gotten away from doing very many layouts about my parents um, and I've been my, my mainly focusing on my, um, my immediately family, my children, my husband, and my, you know, our life now. Um, so I had been cleaning out my scrap room and reorganizing the last few months. And, um, uh, in that I had started reorganizing some of my pictures and I just pulled some pictures that were, you know, I, when I originally went through into their book, it was like, I had a picture of the, you know, like I just had this one single picture of I don't even know what this event was that they were at. I, it was probably a wedding, um, because that was my dad's suit, and, you know, he wore it to weddings and stuff like that. He didn't, they didn't just go out in a suit ever. I mean, that's just not the kind of, that just wasn't really kind of how they did things. But, um, anyway, so I'm kind of going on a little tangent here, but basically I was organizing my scrap room, and I ran across some photos, and I thought, man, I would, maybe I will go through and just scrap up one page layout, so certain pictures that I just love, because I love this picture, I think, um, it, it's just a happy time that they had together, they were at a wedding, they were having a good time, I, I don't remember whose wedding it was, I was there with them, and honestly, I can't even recall whose wedding it was, and my parents were fantastic dancers, and they used to dance at weddings all the time, and it was just amazing, it was an amazing memory, um, so I'm just glad to have this layout done, and I'm glad to have this picture on a page, and I'll probably do some journaling, um, and put it on the back of the layout, um, about that type of stuff. But anyway, so let's get on to the process of the layout. Um, I wanted to keep it, you know, pretty much just about the picture. So the embellishments are all pretty simple. There's nothing real flamboyant. There's not a lot of ton of layering or anything like that. Um, I pulled a ton of paper because I wasn't sure which papers I was going to go with. Um, so I'll just kind of quickly go over those first. I, I used um, a black basil for the 12 by 12 base, um, and then a white basil as the second layer. And what I did is I got this in my Studio Calico order. And what I did was I flipped it, and I used the back side as like a screen. So that's what that is. Um, and I sprayed it, I put this over the white paper, and then I sprayed it, um, with three different Lindy Stamp Gang blues. I used, um, Afternoon Delight Denim, and I used Blue Hawaiian Blue, and I used, oh no, the other one that I um, yeah. This is the other one that I use. Frost? No, that's not it. I'm sorry. Okay. 
this has to be it. It was this um, frosted purple iris. So those, or maybe it was the, yeah, frosted purple iris. So those are the three sprays that I used as the background. Um, and then when I started kind of looking at the layering, I didn't want to do too much to distract from the picture. So I kind of picked a paper um, to me that represented both of them in the photo. So um, I picked this sheet from October Afternoon's report card. It's called The Recess. Um, the back side of it, the pattern on it, it's kind of like a weird star shape sort of. It reminded me of, um, I don't know if you could see it, but on my dad's, on my father's tie, there's like that same shape. And so I picked that, that paper, this one, and so I used just a little bit of that. And then the other one that I ended up going with was a My Mind's Eye paper from the Ooh La La line. Um, and I think it's called All Dressed Up. And this is the opposite side. I used this side. Because I thought that those pinks, my mom's shirt was kind of um, shiny, so it, it was like different shades of pink. And I, I thought that this this paper really kind of picked up on all those shades, so I, I liked that. Um, and this, the letters, or the word, the title, Happy Times, and then the flower um, embellishments that I used are from the crepe paper random collection. The Happy Times was here, and the flowers were here and here and here. And then I also used one part of the border here, which is right there. Um, and I used, um, one, let's see, I think just one sticker from this October afternoon thrift shop, and it was this square here, which was this remember, it says to recall to the mind an act or effort of memory, to remain aware of, to keep in mind memories of days gone by. So that's, I thought it was really nice. And then I used one um, sticker from, the, or actually two, two stickers from the, this is from the um, Crate Paper Random collection as well. So I used two of them, this one here that looks like a postage stamp, and then this little um, bracket looking one here. Um, I stamped a moment in time on the postage stamp looking one, and then the other one is over here, and it just says lovely. It's kind of behind some tool. Um, I also used a border sticker from this is still from the random collection. I used part of this border, and that's down here across the bottom of the photo. Um, I used a tiny bit of trim of this black lace that I've had forever, and I thought I was completely out of it. I thought I used the last of it on my balsa box, and then I came across this. <laughs> I mean, that was the extent of it, that little snippet. Um, so I put it on here because I love that lace. Um, this button is from, what is it from? It's an October afternoon button. Um, that sticker is from, I find it. That sticker is from the Five and Dime collection from October afternoon. It's down here. Um, I used some washi tapes. I used my hound's tooth, black and white. I used it down here on the bottom corner and then up there. And I used a striped, or a diagonal stripe there. And then I used a pink one down here that I haven't, I, had, I don't have it out because I'm actually, it's in a little box of stuff for me to do in my next haul because I just got it. Um, I used some tool from just a roll of tool that I've had in my stash forever. I put some here and I put some over here. Um, this little metal butterfly, it didn't seem to have much um, texture to it. I mean, most of this is paper and washi, so it was pretty flat. So I added this metal piece. It's a little um, Lindy Stamp Gang butterfly, and I just love it. I really like that. And then. I also added one of these little, like, I don't know, 
stick pin looking things um, that I just had from Michael's in my stash. I just kind of tucked it in there behind that flower and that tool. And I, oh, and then this little piece of white ribbon down here came with the, it was part of the random collection trims. I don't do a whole lot with mm -hmm. pinks um, at all, so I figured I better get it on there because this is a layout with pink on it. So I just put a little little bit of, of that across the bottom as well. And I think this little blue button's just for my stash. I think that's pretty much it. And I just kind of layered it up in a way that I liked. It's kind of wonky a little bit. Um, and I just really like the layout. I love how it turned out. Um, it's really inspired me to do some more of these type of layouts that are not so... You know, sometimes two-page layouts, when you have a ton of pictures of one event, is they're cumbersome. They're, they're difficult to you know, manipulate to get the whole story out in two pages with, you know, you gotta kind of limit the number of pictures that you could put on there, blah, 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 and I try to work mainly in six, in four by six photo format. Um, so while this is a challenge for me to work with one picture and to do a single page layout, it's also very refreshing um, to not have the pressure to tell you know, a story of a huge event with a ton of pictures in a very short, small space. Like, I think this is lovely. And um, it, it makes me happy to have done this and to have that just one picture in this beautiful page and, you know, to honor that happy time that they were having and to remember it. And it's meaningful to me. So I'm very happy with the layout. And, you know, it was pretty simple, but I'm pleased with it. Um, and I did do some things that were kind of outside the box for me. I'd never done and whatever that's called with a mask, um, and to use that paper as a mask. I've never done that before, and I thought that was kind of neat. I've never, um, well, I rarely use metal embellishments on layouts. I do on my mini albums that I make and stuff, but rarely on layouts. And I don't think I've ever done a layout with tool on it before either. And again, the washi tape's all pretty new to me as well. So, um, but I just really like it, and, you know, I'm going to try to do... Of course, I'm not going to stop my two, by, you know, two-page twelve by twelve layouts, but I'm going to try to do some more of these, you know, just one or two photos that are just really meaningful and and just um, kind of honor those times and honor those photos. So, um, this is my layout for tonight. I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry about all the rambling and I was just kind of chattering away, I guess, for no apparent reason. But um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys have some time to be creative pretty soon. Um, if not you know, during the week, this week, then hopefully next weekend. Thanks for watching, guys.